for the nationalism of the 21st century has to be based on being itself, life itself. And that means it is simply about us. There will always be us. And there will always be them. All rationalizations based on cultural or genetic superiority are simply irrelevant. For if we only wanted the strongest and the smartest to survive, we would have a nation of East Asian sumo wrestlers. Even if the Europeans were not the master race, we would still be bowed by our duty to our people and not anyone else. This is a duty that we know when we become aware of the vast cultural legacy of our ancestors, their mythology, their sense of seeing the world, which is totally different from the mechanistic view of the modern West. In a sense, the West has so degenerated that how our ancestors saw the universe is closer to the animistic beliefs of black Africa or Australian aboriginals than the Western civilization nowadays. For those people still had their roots and it is our duty to find again our roots. We are the awakeners, pathfinders. We put ourselves into this process. This takes some of us, but some of us will also survive. And as awakeners, it may be our fate to never see our dreams fulfilled, to never see the future that we grant our descendants, to never know what roads they shall take, whether their dreams will be the same as ours, or whether they choose to forget our guidelines for something even greater and far more beautiful than what we have imagined. We are merely the past of our descendants. But let's not fear, let's not despair, for we are the children of our lands. We can dream and we can fight. Even in dark times, even those born in hopeless time can dream and fight. Our enemies say that anyone can be a European. But Europeanness is not a ticket you can buy in an airport. Europeanness, in fact, is a secret. Deep down here, we know who we are. We all recognize our brother or sister from the same ancestors. Our ancestors, our roots, are what make us European. We might not often say it, but we all know it. So, let us awaken our people, for the heart of Europe beats inside us. <laughs>